A wealthy tycoon owner of the Tiffany's jewelry empire in Turkey has died after plunging to her death from a cruise ship during a dream South Sea Islands Bora Bora vacation. Dilif Ertek, 71, was born in Istanbul and graduated from Mimar Sinan University, Department of Architecture. She went on to study diamonds at the Gemological Institute of America in New York. At the end of 1995, she opened the first Tiffany store in Istanbul, where she became the distributor of Tiffany & Company in Turkey for more than 20 years. On October 26, 2022, the diamond tycoon owner fell into the South Pacific Ocean off the coast of Tahiti from her balcony cabin on the Norwegian Spirit cruise ship. Her family has urged police to investigate her Swiss national lover, who was with her on this trip. Ertek's son, Goks Atuk, says jewelry had gone missing from the safe in his mom's cabin. Norwegian Cruise Line security camera footage shows Dilek fell at 3 o'clock in the morning. However, according to local media, her unnamed lover only then reported her missing some 20 hours later. Experts seem baffled over how Ertek, who was just 5'2", was able to fall over the high balcony guard rail in her cabin. Captain of the Norwegian Spirit cruise ship, Mustafa Khan, said, it is difficult to fall from this type of passenger and cruise ship. Her 74-year-old lover was kept under observation by the ship's crew in a separate cabin before docking in Tahiti three days later. Police reportedly questioned the lover in Tahiti before he was released due to a lack of evidence. He has since returned to Switzerland, and the search at sea for Ertek's body has been discontinued. Turkish media report that there are also issues with the investigation. It's claimed that Tahitian authorities did not search Ertek's room properly and feel they only went through the motions as the death happened outside their jurisdiction. Attorneys for Ertek have reportedly argued that the investigation is Tahiti's responsibility, as it was the closest country when the incident at sea happened. Her attorneys are also reportedly preparing to file a lawsuit against the owner of the ship, Norwegian Cruise Line Holdings. Thanks for watching Sailors 365. Subscribe today and stay up to date with the latest breaking news.